Hey guys, Nick Zellerstein here. Just wanted to show you guys something that I've never seen like a video about or anything like that because it was something that people I don't think really know about. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's roll the intro and then we'll start with the video. If you're familiar with netbooks, then you know that netbooks have a screen resolution of 1024 by 600, at least most netbooks, and this netbook in front of you has that screen resolution. And if you're familiar with Windows 8 and 8.1, 8 and 8.1 both have the minimum requirement of 1024 by 768. So, if you realize this netbook should not be able to run Windows 8, and it still can't run Windows 8, um, but there is a display hack setting that you can enable into the netbook to see if it could run Windows 8. And this display hack works on older netbooks, not really the latest generation. Not really the latest netbooks, but it does work for the older generation netbooks. And um, this is one of those netbooks where you can use a display hack. Um, so basically, netbooks cannot run Windows 8 or even one without a display hack. I mean, you can run the desktop apps fine, but you cannot run the Metro apps, or the modern apps, or the Windows Store apps, as they call it now. So, I submitted a question in the Windows Insider Hub back when it was still in the first beta, saying that Windows 10 now allows you to resize the app to whatever size you want so why do you still have this minimum requirement of 1024 by 768 so Windows 10 should allow you theoretically to make open your app on a netbook with a resolution lower than that because the app can be resized to way under that way under that resolution so what I want to show you today is that Windows 10 runs on a netbook with a resolution of 1024 by 768 without any modifications of Windows 10 itself and this works for all netbooks as long as your graphics card supports Windows 7 it will work on Windows 10 so let me sh without further ado I will boot up this netbook and you will see what it can do so I'm turning it on and you'll see on the screen it says Acer you can see it's not modified now the computer did go to sleep mode, so it's just waking up from sleep. But I'm telling you, the Metro apps run totally fine on a netbook. Yes, they are kind of slow, but it runs at the native resolution of 1024 by 600. The Metro apps do run in that resolution. So you'll see this in one second. We'll come up. There's a blue screen. It's gonna ask me for my password. Just give me a second. Okay, there it is. You can tell it's in the native resolution. Let me just enter my password and we'll be back. I want to show you that there's no trickery here. So I entered my password and then I hit enter on camera so that you see there's no trickery here.
Hang on, someone's calling me. Um, I'll get back to you in a second. Alright, they hung up. Sorry, someone just called me. So, um, I didn't cut the camera. I didn't want to cut the camera. So if you go into start, yeah, it's really, really slow, but this is because this computer only has a gig of RAM. If I upgraded this computer to two gigs of RAM, it would be a lot faster. There it goes. So if I click on Microsoft Edge here, this is a Metro app, you can see that it works and see it opens on my resolution. I can resize it, I can shrink it down and resize it, and I can minimize it. And I can close it. And also, I can open up the Windows Store Give it a second, it's loading up. And this is the RTM full final version of Windows 10. This is why it's not activated, because I didn't uh, put in, I didn't upgrade from Windows 7. But if you could see this, the Windows Store is working fine on a netbook. So you can download apps from the Windows Store onto your computer and it's really cool. And basically your netbook is now an app ready Windows 10 device. And another thing you can do is, it's going to show three apps working. So I'm going to show, I'll show Microsoft Solitaire because it's a pretty cool app. And then I'll show you a little trick to get your graphics driver updated. Oh, I didn't install that app. Let's see, is news installed? Yep, news is installed. That's working. And let me show you um, a little trick to getting your graphics driver updated or any hardware that might not be working on Windows 10. Just want to prove that news does work. And I also want to prove that this is 1024 by 600. Even though if you know technology, you know that this is 1024 by 600. I minimize that. Um, if you right click on the desktop and then you go to display settings. It's slow because I'm running 64-bit windows on this netbook. Because I would like to run Premiere on here. And that would be really cool if I can get Premiere on here. But if you can see. They don't tell you the display resolution. I think you have to go to advance. Yep. See? 1024. Oh, you can't read that. Let me zoom in. 1024. By 600. You can easily see that now. And all these apps are just working, you know. And if you go into update and secure. Not there. If you go into system. And then all the way at the bottom there's about. Shows that this is Windows 10 Pro 64-bit running on a netbook. And let me show you the way that you get the um, the drivers working. So if you go into devices, and then you click on connected devices, and you go to device manager, I mean, I could run 32-bit, and this computer would be like a zillion times faster. But I just chose to run 64-bit because it's really cool. And netbooks aren't supposed to run 64-bit. 
This particular netbook can run 64-bit. It's the Acer Aspire 532H. And if you go into display adapters, right here it will say general display adapter, generic display adapter. Just right click on it and hit update device software. And if that's not available, then go to Intel's website and download the driver for Windows 7 64-bit or if there's no 64-bit, then download the driver for Windows 7 32-bit. Install it on Windows 10 and you should be fine, you know. And um, the majority of the hardware just works out of the box. The only thing you have to get working is the graphics card. Um, if you have the AO A150, Acer Aspire 1, AO, Acer Aspire 1, 150, AO A150, um, then that one, you just download the 945 graphics driver from Intel for Windows 7 32-bit and you install Windows 10 and you just install the 7 driver on Windows 10 and it normally works fine. Um, Intel does not the kind of people that put box on installations. So um, I just want to make this short video showing you that Windows 10 does run on Windows on netbooks with absolutely no modifications. Um, you don't have to modify it. You don't have to um, do that display hack thing. It just works, you know. I don't think a lot of you know that. I mean, I don't know. Because there's like no videos on the internet that show Windows 10 in a netbook. So I decided to make a video showing that it's possible. I guess all you guys, I don't know, maybe you guys gave up on netbooks for Windows 10. So just wanted to show you guys that. Um, and maybe I plan on putting this SSD inside of my netbook. It's 120 gig, um, 840 Evo. Might put that in there and might make it faster. And I want to upgrade the RAM to 2 gigs. So that would be ideal. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like this stuff on a regular basis, comment, rate, and subscribe. Alright, see ya. Peace.